After last month's earthquakes near Ridgecrest, some people wondered why the Shake Alert app didn't give them an early warning. That's why now experts have made some important changes. And CBS 2's Kyra Finstrom is live this morning at Caltech in Pasadena to explain. Kyra, good morning. Good morning, DeMarco. L.A. is doing a little pioneering here. We were the first city in the country to get this early warning app, and now it's being tweaked. Today, the mayor and some scientists talked about why those of us here in L.A. didn't get an alert when those big quakes shook Ridgecrest. Many people were disappointed and surprised that the app didn't go off for an earthquake that they felt. But the threshold for alerting was set to a level of shaking that might start to cause some damage. And in the LA County area, the ground motion didn't reach that level. It was felt, but it didn't do any damage. From five to four and a half. Because of the response from Angelino, some frustration, some concern, the app threshold has now been lowered, so it will alert us to a lower intensity of shaking. At that new level, we would have been alerted to the shaking we felt in L.A. during the 6.4 Ridgecrest quake. Today, the mayor said scientists initially recommended setting the bar higher because they wanted to avoid quake alert fatigue or unneeded panic with people pulling over suddenly in their cars when the shaking wasn't going to be that significant. The new lower threshold does mean app users will get five times as many alerts. The mayor says the city will watch and see how Angelinos respond. If we decide over time it's too often and we're getting that feedback, we can always change that again. But I think overwhelmingly the public comments, and we always try to be responsive to what people actually want, uh, was please lower it so we know. And that's a great opportunity for us to practice, for us to be you know, reminded that we're in earthquake country, and for us to know as well that even though this may not cause damage, this is coming. The app has been downloaded, downloaded 800,000 times. It uses data that's collected from sensors in the earth close to where the shaking starts and then science to project when the growing quake will reach you. The scientists here today stress the science behind it worked for the most part. There were some glitches with underestimating the magnitude of that second larger quake. But back here live, they stress that this is all very important science. And DeMarco, the point is, once they get it fully tweaked, it could give us all precious seconds uh, to avoid that big one when it does get here. Car, I think it's a good thing. Anytime anything shakes and I don't feel it, I most certainly want to know about it. Car Finstrom <laughs> reporting live for us. Car, thank you.